Sometimes you have to keep your good news to yourself. Everybody is not genuinely happy for you. Use your voice for kindness, your ears for compassion, your hands for charity, your mind for truth, and your heart for love. If a man's mouth was silent, then another part would speak. Make your character so strong and your capacity so wide that people feel proud to belong to you. You can't change how people feel about you, so don't try. Just live your life and be happy. Good people are like candles. They burn themselves up to give others light. Find something you love, something you can lean on, something that will keep you going. You need something to fall back on when you get depressed. People will do anything, no matter how absurd, to avoid facing their own souls. A girl will usually try to save a relationship at any cost, but once the limit is crossed, she will walk away and never look back. Don't tell anyone what you think or what you know. Keep your secrets to yourself because a friend of today could be an enemy by tomorrow. You have to hurt in order to know, fall in order to grow, lose in order to gain, because most of life's lessons are learned in pain. The most attractive quality in a woman is when you know she hasn't been with everybody and won't be with just anybody. When you're working for someone else's dream, you sacrifice your own. Men laugh with their heart, women only with their mouth. A good man is one who rejoices in the well-being of others. If you can keep your woman happy, you can possibly do anything you want. If you hear that a mountain has moved, believe it. But if you hear that a man has changed his character, believe it not. Don't force someone to remember you all the time. Just stay silent and let them realize how they would be without you in their life. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Life is such a great teacher that when you don't learn a lesson, it will repeat it. Do not let the behavior of others destroy your inner peace. No one saves us but ourselves. No one can, and no one may. We ourselves must walk the path. When you see a woman sitting with her legs open, never tell her to close them because you do not know her source of fresh air. You are more defined by what comes out of your mouth than what goes in it. Speech gives us the power to create or destroy. If you can't take care of yourself, you can't take care of anyone else. It's never too late to do the thing you've always wanted to do. Don't let naysayers discourage you, because they may be projecting their own insecurities. Ways to make one-sided love successfully work. With countless stories and songs about unrequited one-sided love, it's impossible not to empathize with the pain and heartbreak it brings. It's difficult enough to cope when the person you deeply love doesn't share the same feelings. While persistence in expressing your love can sometimes win the other person over, there are times when it simply doesn't work. With that in mind, here are some straightforward strategies to help make your one-sided love succeed. 1. Let them know you're thinking of them. Ensure they regularly notice your presence. Clearly express your feelings without leaving any room for misunderstanding. Engage in activities that remind you of them. Sending a message like, this movie reminds me of you, can make it difficult for them to resist your charm. 2. Be a good friend. Being a dependable friend is one of the most comforting things you can offer. Focus on building trust and let them naturally lean on you. In serious relationships, trust outweighs infatuation. They'll want to know you better, and there's no better way to start than by being a trustworthy friend. As the saying goes, friends first, love next. 3. Make them see the best in you. Present the best version of yourself whenever you're around them. Show how joyful and vibrant you are in their presence. It will make them feel special knowing they have that effect on you. Subtly highlight your achievements and display a positive personality. Let them see what they're missing out on. 4. Don't obsess over them. Avoid obsessively stalking them on social media just because you care about them. It's not only unsettling but, 
if they find out about your fixation, they may distance themselves from you completely. Respecting boundaries is crucial in these situations, and obsessive behavior is unhealthy for both you and the relationship. 5. Be there for them. You may feel frustrated when they don't seem to accept your feelings, but don't let this frustration lead you to make a mistake. Be there for them whenever they need support. Your love and care are invaluable. However, be mindful that they might take you for granted. If, despite your efforts, you realize they'll never love you the way you love them, it may be best to move on from the one-sided relationship. Signs you are the selfish partner in your relationship. Dealing with selfish people is tough because their true intentions are often hidden. They might appear helpful and easygoing, but you never know what self-serving motives they might be harboring. Having a selfish person in your life is challenging, but being in a relationship with one can be even more difficult. And what if you're the selfish one in the relationship? To clarify, here are some signs that might indicate you're the selfish person in your relationship. 1. You want everything to go your way. If every time your partner tries to discuss something with you and ends up sacrificing their own happiness to accommodate your desires, it's a clear warning that you might be the selfish one in the relationship. This dynamic is far from healthy and can breed resentment, eventually leading to the downfall of the relationship. 2. You give your partner the silent treatment. Rather than engaging in difficult conversations maturely, you choose to stay silent, even when your partner wants to talk things through. It's self-centered to avoid communication when you're hurt or angry, as this shuts down the opportunity for resolution. 3. You insist that you are always right. If you consistently prioritize only your own perspective, your relationship is likely to suffer. This behavior indicates that you are primarily focused on fulfilling your own needs, with minimal regard for your partner's needs and feelings. 4. You frequently accuse your partner of being the selfish one in the relationship. It's challenging to accept traits in ourselves that we find unappealing. When we accuse our partners of being selfish, what we're often pointing out is that they aren't catering to our own selfish desires. 5. You expect your partner to change. You could be displaying selfish behavior in your relationship if you expect your partner to alter their personality and habits to fit your desires. Even if they make efforts to adapt to your preferences, this approach is unlikely to be sustainable in the long run. 6. You ignore your partner's needs. A key aspect of a healthy relationship is being mindful of what makes your partner happy and making an effort to meet their needs some of the time. It doesn't mean you have to constantly cater to their desires, but you shouldn't ignore their needs either. 7. You threaten to end the relationship when you don't get your way. If you frequently threaten to leave your partner, it undermines their ability to trust you. A person who truly loves their partner will have the maturity and self-awareness to understand that threatening to abandon someone over disagreements is deeply hurtful. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.